I've got something really cool. It's a practical printing story and it's something that involves catting a design I didn't think I'd have the capability of doing. You're in 3D Printing Nerd Studios, proudly powered by PCBWay, 8% off, link in the description. You know what to do. Someone in the community reached out because they had a broken piece of a tent and they wanted to go camping and they wondered if someone could 3D print that piece. This is a part of a tent that keeps other parts together. It's got some through holes right there and the hole goes in there and then this part gets held on by something else and it's broken. <laughs> Yikes. I think this is just ABS plastic. There was some glues on here before. They didn't hold very well. Looks to be an injection molded piece. I think I can 3D print this. So in talking with this person, they mentioned scanning it, but I opted for catting it up myself and I actually brought out my calipers. I started measuring and I was able to get a really good design. So let me bring over the computer because I wanna go through this. This is something that you could actually do yourself. And the, the reason I'm talking about it is because I didn't think originally this was something I could do. I thought this was going to be too complex, but like most complex problems, I broke it down into much smaller problems that I then tackled individually. And I came out with what I think is a fantastic piece. So over on the computer, let's start with a sketch. So I'm in Fusion 360 and there's the initial sketch. So if I bring that up, there we go. You can see that. So this view on this piece is kind of what you see in this sketch here. Well, let's see, I have an outer diameter of 22 millimeters and an inner diameter 2.2 millimeters less than that. I measured the wall thickness and the wall thickness was 2.2 millimeters. And then these arms come out and you notice that on this piece, it, it butts right up against here and it's flat and it goes out to either arm and then it comes down and then they, they roll there. So that's what the other part of this is. So let's finish the sketch and do our first extrusion. It's gonna be just the cylinder. It's the cylinder that I've extruded. And if we go into that, it is 63.3 millimeters tall. Easy, all right, well then the next one is gonna be those arms that I showed you and that we talked about. So this was actually an offset extrusion, which means I extruded some and then I offset that by an amount. So uh, the offset was 33.2 millimeters, but the extrusion distance, these things right here, the arms from here to here, they are 20 millimeters, which is kind of nice. And then I joined that and uh, so that was, that was easy. That was all part of that sketch. So now the next one is, there we go. If we, if we have that view right there, what I wanted to do is extrude that up a little bit and, and join it in because that part, so here's the piece. So this extrusion deals with this end of the piece. It's gonna get easy, I promise. It's these sides. So what I did is extrude up on both sides to take care of this. If this is a full round and then these little cutout sides on either side, they need to be removed from that full round. And that's what I did here. And let me go back to the original sketch. You can kind of see, let's see, was it here? Ah, here we go. So there's these lines right here and right here, which meant all of these other pieces got cut out, which is, well, which is really cool. Okay, let's turn off that sketch for now. Let's rotate around and that's kind of what we got so far. So next up is going to be right here. So on this piece, you can tell that it's not just a straight 90 degree. It's got a little bit of a, a chamfer on that. And I, I believe it's like 45 degrees, but that I put that on there. So, so far so easy. And then at the bottom, I rounded that. So remember, this is what it was before. There we go, it was just that flat piece. And then I went through, I rounded it 8.5 millimeters. Easy, right? right? We're, we're just breaking this down into smaller problems that we can tackle one at a time. And I rounded these up here. And again, these were 9.5 millimeters and it was easy enough to round those and they, they look good. So next was now doing a fillet on all of these edges. And I did that because it looks nice and because I think it, it helps in 
overall usability, I'm trying to mimic this piece, not create a new piece. And filleting those corners there really kind of adds to it. So next is an extrusion and it was this, this inner part. So let me bring this back. This hole, a pole has to go in here and it has to seat at a certain level. And if we look at the broken piece, so it seats just about that far, which is just above right here. And if we do that on this, it looks like this. So I extruded down and where the red is just above the edge of that chamfer. So that's what happened there to get the inside prepped for it. Next was a new sketch on this, uh, this side. What I wanted to do is place the hole. So if we look on that side, we look, there's a through hole right there. That's what we're doing. We're putting a sketch here so we can place that through hole and uh, place it in a good spot. And then of course we extrude so that we can create the hole. And next we do another sketch. So this one, if I remember right, is on this side. There we go, look at that. There are two through holes there and uh, we have to put those in space. And so I put a sketch here and I lined one of them up with center of the main body. And then I did the other one based on measurements from the calipers. That was that sketch that got that ready, which means then the next one was the, was the extrusion. And so finally, let me turn it around. The last step was to put a fillet on the holes. So the screws that go in, I think they're going to be, oh, they're gonna have that little angle on them. I'm trying to remember the name, I just can't come up with it right yet. Uh, but, they, but they go in there and that's it. So now if we, <laughs> let's zoom out a bit and look at the piece. Doesn't that look just phenomenal? And we did that and it was really, really simple. And I was able to do that. So then I told the nice person that I had a piece ready, I just had to print it. And so I printed it on the Form 4L and I printed it in their clear resin. I believe it's clear V5. And it looked really good. I, I use this though, because it's, it's a test piece. This isn't the final material. I use this as a piece to judge fitment. And so I gave the piece to this nice lady and she took it, she tested it out and she said the fit was perfect absolutely perfect and the whole placement perfect and it felt so good because I'm using calipers to judge a piece that has been broken and I'm doing some best guesses so now the part that I need to do is going to be in that strong form labs material the same material that I printed the nails from that worked and I'm going to print it out there and those should be final pieces I got the parts here. Let's move this out of the way. Let's put the parts down and I want you to take a look. Here it is, look at that, look at that. I catted that in Fusion 360 and it, and it turned out like that. It's so good, I love it so much. Just remember, uh, at the end of the day, you are capable of doing anything you put your mind to, and I'm so proud of you guys for doing it. And if you have this incredible solution that you thought was impossible for you, but you were able to tackle it and take it across the goal line, and you share it online, tag me. Of course, I'm Joel Telling everywhere, but this little thing is gonna get delivered to a very happy family who is now gonna get to use the tent for camping. It brings me so much joy because rather than throwing something away or having to order something anew, we were able to take a broken part and some calipers and some software and create it anew. And while I'm at it, why not, why not print extras? Why not at this point? So now the family has spare parts when they're camping. Well, listen, thanks for coming along on this quick little practical printing journey. I hope you're able to cat everything up in the future. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for a cause you believe in, print all the things, and as always, high five. I gotta make a delivery.